What's up, guys? Today we're going to be talking about <gasps> Cha-ching! We Men of Ash and Shadow by H.L. Tinsley. Guys, whoo! This is a dark fantasy or grim dark gas lamp novel. And if you're wondering what gas uh, gas lamp is, so am I. I do not understand what the fuck the <laughs> gas lamp is. I even looked it up. I still don't really get it. So if there's any of you out there that could let this old fool better understand uh, another subgenre, please let me know in the fucking comments, because I just, I don't really know what gas lamp means. I could tell you this is a dark tale that has some dastardly nature to it. It's a lot of fun. It's also one of the finalists in this year's uh, self-published fantasy blog-off. So there's a, there's a lot of good in this horrific tale. Um, and let's, you know, let, let's get into it. All right, so here in We Men of Ash and Shadow, H.L. Tensley is going to bring us to the city of Diorce. And now Diorce is a fucking great little chunk of world building done on Tensley's part because you really do feel just the, the criminal activity, mentality, whatever, of this place. It feels like scoundrel central, okay? It feels like a gambling den gone wrong <laughs> on so many levels. But a lot of fun for those that like mischief, right? Like, this feels very much like a place where the dirtbags come to thrive. And I love that. Now, along the way, we're going to follow the main character known as John Vanguard. And now, John Vanguard is essentially a soldier who is now turned mercenary and is working for, you know, a seedy employer doing rough and tough work. Now, John Vanguard is not exactly super stoked about his life and the way it's turned out. In fact, he's got a lot of guilt and shame about his past. Now, this is when we're gonna kind of start to get fed our next main character, who is Taryn. Now, Taryn is a young psychopath, but he's also kind of like a noble, right? So he's somebody that has a high status, but his mind is down in the fucking dumps for sure. But now this is a chance for John Vanguard to kind of take Taryn under his wing, kind of teach him the ropes, and maybe feel a little bit better about himself. Maybe wash away some of the stains of his past by trying to, you know, mentor this young man. Now the rest of the story will play out basically just with the relationships between John and Taryn, Taryn and other people, especially his mother, which was one I really liked. Um, and just all around the scoundrels and criminal types of Diorsi, which gives us plenty of political intrigue, backstabbing, action, just blood and guts. It's a wild ride that is a fucking lot of fun. One of the first things I want to jump into here is going to be the characters in the story because it is something I kind of found interesting about the book. I really enjoyed the characters, some of them a lot. But the funny thing is, is the one I liked the least was the main character, John Vanguard. Uh, and it's not that I didn't like him. I just liked him the least. All like the secondary characters were just very interesting and intriguing and a little bit more compelling to me than John Vanguard. John Vanguard kind of feels a lot like a lot of other characters. He's that, you know, that dude that he's a very competent man. Maybe, you know, the ex-soldier or ex-general that is now down on his luck. And, you know, maybe once a good person, but now he's a cynical bastard. Whatever. It's a it's it's a type, okay? And I, not to say that John Vanguard is, is so boring because he's that type, because he's definitely easy to enjoy and follow. H.L. Tinsley just brought so much more flair and life to these other characters. I think that maybe I'm alone, but I think that other people will notice this as well. Like the character of Mondego. Mondego is not necessarily a very big character in this book, though he has a part to play. Every time Mondego's on the fucking page, man, it's like I was sucked in, you know? I was just like, fuck, yeah, I like this character. Taryn loved Taryn. Now, he's arguably one of our main characters, but he's not as prevalent as John Vanguard. But Taryn is fucking great. For any of you guys that like a good old psychopath, you're gonna love Taryn. And one of the things that I really enjoyed about Taryn, like I mentioned earlier, was the relationship with his mother. Now, this is something special and really was the thing, probably the high mark of the, the whole reading experience was reading about Taryn and his mother. There is something very, like, you know, dark and toxic and just not healthy between their relationship. 
But the way it plays out is so fucking believable. And like I could see it. This part became almost cinematic to me because of the way it was just hitting in all the right ways. And I just can't scream enough about that relationship and the character work done between those two, Taryn and his mom. Next, I just kind of want to revisit the world building. I know I already kind of gushed a little bit about it. But I want to talk about it a little more and just kind of ram it home because I do think that Diorsi is one of the shining elements of the many shining elements <laughs> in this book. And I think a lot of people are going to agree with me. It just really is carved out to almost perfection. I'm not saying that there wasn't room for improvement, but goddamn, she really brings this thing to life, okay? It feels scummy, dirty, and dangerous, which is a perfect vibe and atmosphere for this style of story as well as this style of character. So just everything kind of fits. It's all in the right place. And so the character and the world building really work off of one another to bring you this thing that just feels very cohesive and just awesome. And I think that people are going to be kind of surprised with H.L. Tinsley's ability to create a very nice story here because I believe this is her first book and it's it's impressive. The next thing I want to talk about is just like the book's vibe and kind of work into the action because they're kind of connected. The book gave me Assassin's Creed vibes. And if anyone is out there hating right now on what I just said, I just want to reiterate Assassin's Creed vibes in the best ways. I like Assassin's Creed, so just, just in case anyone would just chill. All right. Anyway, yes, Assassin's Creed vibes in the best way. And it shouldn't be that surprising because this, when you boil it down, is pretty much an Assassin's Tale. So that's how it plays out, guys. And it's a lot of fucking fun. That means your action is going to be fast paced and bloody. And it's sometimes very surprising. So as far as my two cents for the slow and the struggling, yes, absolutely. We men of Ash and Shadow could be for you, especially if you guys are looking for that scoundrel type of fantasy. This is top notch and it's really, it's not a long read. Okay. This is a fairly quick read. So you guys can get in, get out in a timely manner and feel accomplished. And that's what I'm always trying to kind of plug to you guys. Sometimes you want to tackle these big behemoths you make it a quarter way through and then you give up, okay? This book is not going to do that to you. It's going to bring you on the ride from beginning to end. And I do think that H.L. Tinsley has written something that is intriguing, compelling enough to grab your attention and keep you entertained from beginning to end. So yes, on many different levels, I do believe that We Men and of Ash and Shadow could be for you guys. I think it's a really good pick to to, to grab and I also just found out it's going to be a series I thought it was a standalone book but now that it's going to be a series I do think that that's a series for slow and struggling readers to keep an eye out for well as always guys thanks for spending some time down here at the channel and to HL Tinsley a gadoosh all right way to go girl god damn this was a lot of fun and you know what good luck in that fucking competition I know that they're <laughs> There's a lot of people swinging for the fences in this year's uh, SPF uh, Spiffo. Whatever the fuck. God damn it. Caught me at the end slipping up. Anyway, way to go. Uh, for the rest of you still watching, <laughs> I gotcha. I fucking gotcha again. The master of deception, stealing minutes of your life away one second at a time. Click, 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 click. Boom. <sighs> I'm losing my fucking mind. Hey. <sighs>